little roach first put. Right, well, let me just take you through how I mix it up. Before I mix it up, I just want to tell you a little bit about it. It's not just like a normal punch crumb. It's got a hint of aniseed, and it's a coarse and fine mix 50-50, which gives it the unique way you mix it up. If it's too fine, you get it clogs a lot and you get a lot of waste. But having a 50-50 coarse and fine, you get a nice texture and less waste and a superb mix for breaking up if it's mixed up right. Now, simply rip the bag open. Let's just open it up and I'll mix one whole bag up. I'd probably maybe even mix two up, but I'll just show you simply mixing one bag up. And I can smell the aniseed in that now. And you can see that it's it's not a coarse texture, it's a fine texture. It's, it, that's the unique blend of it, 50-50. If that was all fine, I'd add water to that and they'd clog up so much. And the trouble with a lot of anglers thinking, using it, and the best time to use it is as we're coming into the winter period, as it gets colder, because it is a superb bait for catching roach. I mean, you'll catch skimmers and other fish on it, but it is renowned for roach fishing, for canals, lakes, rivers, when the cold weather sets in and as the fishing gets a little bit harder. It's an unbelievable bait and it's instant. It's not a bait that it takes a while for the fish to come onto it. It's a bait that works straight away. Now simply, like I've emptied the contents into that container there and just add a little bit of water. Never add the water, uh, the ground bait to the water. So I just pour a little, little bit in there and just mix it round. Now, a lot of people use drills. I'm one of the old school where I just like to use my hands and push it for a riddle. And another thing with different ground baits and different times of years, different times of the year is, this is quite a fine sieve. I'd probably call it a, a, a pinky riddle. Now, I'm gonna run it through there so it gives me a slightly finer mix. But obviously, summertime, you might run it through maybe a maggot riddle, which gives you slightly larger feed lumps in there, but you must riddle your ground bait. But I'll show you why when I run it through the riddle. Now, I've added a little bit of water there. There's a few little lumps in it, and it's, start, it's starting to feel dampish, but I would like to add just a little bit more water into that, just to get it so it's, it's, it's damp to feel. But only add a little bit at a time, because with punch crumb, you can add too much water, and you can get the texture wrong, and you will not be able to riddle it. So I normally add two lots of water, just mix it round gently, so it all gets a thorough soaking, and then I'll probably leave it for 10 minutes. Sometimes during a match winter time, I've locked up the night before in the kitchen, just so it's ready and it's really soaked in the water, absorbed the water. But you must have it so it will sink, it will compress together, and especially when I show you with riddling it, that if I was to use it straight like that now, it will just, it won't break up, and it will break up into big lumps. And I'll show you, by riddling it, you take all those lumps out, and then if it's the right consistency, and it's mixed together with the right amount of water, that I can, after I riddle it, I can squeeze it in a real hard ball, and it'll just gradually open up like a sponge and all break up into the little bits that I've riddled. So I'll leave that to stand just for a few minutes, and then I'll show you how to riddle it. Okay, well this has now stood for about 10 minutes. I'll just loosen up my hands. You can see there's lumps in there, now I'm gonna riddle it. Now I said before, if it was summertime, with your ground baits, you can use like a, a larger riddle. As can close, that's a finer one. But I'll just show you, empty the contents into this bucket. And I'll just show by using this larger riddle, the lumps that you get. So just riddle it. As you can see, on top I've got all little lumps and then I've got the finer mix below. Now you can try and push those lumps through a little bit but what is it's just where the water's hit the mix and where it's the fine and the coarse together it's just clogged it together and it's formed lumps. Now if that was to dry it gradually break up but if you don't riddle it you'd be feeding that and one fish can come along suck up one of those balls and it'll fill it up. So discard that but that's nothing from a bag what we've got we've probably got half a cup full now I'll show you putting that back into the bucket using a finer one so a finer riddle still than the larger hold one 
If I put that on there now, tip that same mix onto that riddle and riddle this through, you'll see you'll get more lumps but smaller lumps. Now can you see those there? Now they're not as big as the other lumps here that would fill this, but they're still larger lumps. Now you can try and push those through or what's in with them, little bits come off it, but by riddling it you're taking out that bigger feed value that you would feed. So now if I look at my mix, it's a lovely fine mix and I can squeeze that in a ball and when I throw that in the water it goes down, opens up, look it all breaks up to the mix that I've pushed through that riddle. Very simple, you can determine the size of particles in your punch gum you want to feed. So if I didn't riddle it I'll be feeding the large lumps that I've discarded away. So by riddling it I get that mix and then by riddling it again I take out, these not are large lumps but they are for as it starts to get colder and it's much better feeding that finer graded particles through the finer riddle and then I'll be fishing on the hook a small piece of punch come over that, probably a four mil piece that will stick out like a sore thumb and hopefully the fish will intercept that first before it picks up the other loose offerings. And that's so simple, so simple not your punch crumb up, but you must riddle it. That's why it's so important to riddle it. If you don't, you've got an awful lot of feed going in in one hit in big lumps like I've showed you. And that's just showing you just the two different riddles. That one takes out the real big lumps and then by using a finer one, that takes out the smaller lumps. But maybe on a river, that would be ideal to feed in with the finer mix. So very simple, it's, it's different situations, different venues, but as a rule that would be the best mix for all venues coming to wintertime, be it canal, drain, river or a natural lake. Superb for fishing and brilliant for catching roach.